Hello, Paradise Panther artists. This is Mrs. Telfer. I am excited to be with you today as we explore the life and history of our next master artist, Georgia O'Keeffe. She was an American artist born in 1887, and she painted nature in a way that showed how it made her feel. She played an important part in the development of modern art in America by becoming the first female painter to gain respect in New York's art world in the 1920s. So let's meet our next master artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, who lived to be 98 years old. Georgia O'Keeffe was a very popular and famous American artist. People wanted to know all about her life and about her art. So she agreed to be interviewed, and that interview was recorded. You will hear parts of it today. Are you ready to hear all about Georgia O'Keeffe in her own voice and words? She was in her 90s, when this interview was done. So her voice is not always loud and strong, but if you listen very carefully, you will be able to understand her. As we look at her paintings, listen carefully to find out what O'Keeffe sees in her mind. I can see shapes. It's as if my mind creates shapes that I don't know about. I can't say it any other way, that I get this shape in my head. And sometimes I know what it comes from and sometimes I don't. And I think with myself that there are a few shapes that I have repeated a number of times during my life and I haven't known I was repeating them until after I had done it. What did Georgia O'Keeffe see in her mind? She saw shapes. Has your mind ever thought up a shape to draw? Or maybe you just imagined one? Well, besides just thinking up shapes, Georgia had the talent to beautifully turn those shapes into works of art, just like you saw. Can you easily tell what the shapes in O'Keeffe's paintings are? No, you can't. Are the shapes you just saw realistic? No, they're not. There is an art word that describes O'Keeffe's way of painting shapes that are not realistic. An abstract work of art doesn't look like a real thing. Abstract art invites us to use our imaginations and feelings. Have you ever collected something? Georgia had two special collections. This was one of the things she collected. It was artificial flowers. Why do you think an artist would collect artificial flowers? Well, Artists can use them to draw and paint. Let's remember though, were O'Keeffe's paintings realistic or abstract? Yes, you're right, they're abstract paintings. So would her painting of this flower look just like a real flower? No, it wouldn't. I want you to pretend that you brought your special camera today to photograph this flower. Your camera has a powerful zoom lens that brings you closer and closer to the flower. You see less and less of the flower as it is magnified. Okay, let's all turn our zoom lens on now and tell me what you see of this flower through your camera lens. What do you see? Yes, you see just the petals and the center. Georgia looked at her collection of flowers as if she had a zoom lens as part of her eyes. 
She zoomed in on a flower and painted it very large. Does this painting remind you of a flower? Yes, it does. Why did O'Keefe want to paint her flowers so big? Well, I'll let her tell you why. Go ahead and listen to her voice on the next slide. There was a collection of paintings in New York that I went to see every once in a while, and they had a new painting, but it was a small picture. It was about 20 by 16, maybe. But the flower was beautifully painted, and I thought, now, if I would paint that flower, just that flower, the size it is, nobody would ever look at it. But if I enjoy the flower, and I would paint it, I'm going to paint it big so they will have to look at it. Why did Georgia paint her flowers so big? Well, it was so people would notice them. Do you think her plan worked? Yes, I do too. She became very famous for her flower paintings. Let's look at this beautiful painting by O'Keefe. What catches your attention? Yes, the color. Look carefully. Do you see more than one color of blue in this painting? Yes. Do you see several colors of green too? Yes. We call those different colors of blue and green the values of color. The values of a color can go from very light to very dark. Do you know what Georgia adds to a color to make it darker? It's black. Black added to a color makes a shade of that color. What do you think you would add to a color to make it lighter? Yes, you add white. White added to a color makes a tint of that color. Now, I want you to picture in your mind, like Georgia O'Keeffe, a painting of brown hills with so many values of brown, it's impossible to even count them. Let's see if your picture in your mind looks anything like what O'Keeffe painted. Do you see many values of brown in this painting? Yes, we do. O'Keefe used many different values of brown to paint these beautiful hills. Do you see a tint where white has been added to the brown? Yes, we do. Do you see a shade where black has been added to the brown? Yes, we do. Let's take a different look now at these beautiful hills painted by O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe lived in the United States. Her favorite place to visit and to live was the state of New Mexico. New Mexico is mostly desert. It is hot and dry with very little rain. Georgia would hike all over the hills and desert and set up her easel and paint until the daylight ran out. Look at the hills in this painting. Are the hills in the foreground or the background? You're right, the hills are in the background. What do you think is the big black shape in the foreground? Well, it's not a window, it's a cross. Georgia enjoyed painting landscapes of the New Mexico hills, making them very colorful and showing many shades and tints. Do you think the hills were really this colorful? No, you're right, they weren't. Do you think there were really giant flowers floating in the sky? No, 
You're right. This is a part of her abstract art. Do you have a pet dog? Georgia O'Keeffe loved dogs and had several as pets in New Mexico. The dog in this photo was named Jingo. Look very carefully at the large photo now. Can you find her and two of her dogs? I'll give you a hint. They look like dark bushes. She loved taking her dogs for long walks near her home. Remember I told you Georgia liked to collect things? Do you remember that she collected artificial silk flowers? Well, she had another collection too, a very unusual one. I bet you have never heard of this collection before. Let me show you in the next slide. What do you think Georgia liked to collect? Yes, she collected bones. As she hiked across the hills and the desert with her dogs, she would pick up the animal bones she found. Do you think Jingo tried to bury the bones she found? I bet so. What was it about bones that Georgia O'Keeffe liked? Well, it was the shape of the bones. She loved the beautiful shapes in the skulls and bones and thought they were very lively. I would like you to look at this hip bone of a cow just as Georgia would. Do you notice the shapes it creates against the sky? We can see the shades and tints of the blue sky through the holes in the bone. Now, in our next slide, I would like you to think, how would you like to wake up to this view of your backyard every morning? Does your backyard look like this? Georgia never got tired of the view from her house or of painting it over and over again. After hearing her voice and seeing her paintings today, would you like to see another photograph of Georgia O'Keeffe? She was married to a famous photographer who took hundreds of pictures of her. Do you think she enjoyed posing for him? Let's see what you think next. Georgia said it drove her crazy to sit still for photographs. Do you sometimes feel like that? I know I do. Can you see what Georgia is painting? She's painting flowers. Do you think she will paint it just the size it is? No, I don't think so either. Show me with your hands, how big do you think she will paint it? Oh, that is a very large size. Well done. Now it's time to review all you've learned about Georgia O'Keeffe in a fun way. We're going to play a game. This game is called Up Down. I will say a word, and if it fits with what you've learned about Georgia O'Keeffe today, go ahead and stand up. If the word does not have anything to do with our artist today, go ahead and sit down. Are you ready? Here we go. Did we learn about the word shape? Great, you should be standing up. Did we learn about abstract art? Great, you should be standing up. Did we learn about bones? Yes, go ahead and stand up. Did we learn about Hawaii? No, you should be sitting down. Did we learn about New Mexico? Yes, stand up. Did we learn about fish? No, 
you should sit down. Did we learn about the value of color? Yes, stand up. Did we learn about flowers? Yes, keep standing. Did we learn about the ocean? No, go ahead and sit down. Did we learn about tint? Yes, stand up. Did we talk about America? Yes, keep standing. Did we learn about cowboys? No, go ahead and sit down. Did we learn about realistic art? Yes, go ahead and stand up. Did we talk about how Georgia O'Keeffe lived to the age of 98 years old? Yes, stand up. Excellent listening and learning today, artists. I declare you a Meet the Masters expert. You did a great job today, Paradise Panther artists, learning about our master artist, Georgia O'Keeffe and her love of painting flowers, landscapes, and bones. Coming up, I hope you enjoy painting like Georgia in your art activity with Mr. Tyler. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day, Paradise Panther artists.